Hello and good field report day. It's Wednesday, October 3rd, 2007. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Group. First up, I'd like to give our sponsor, Comedy Central, a special thank you for having sponsored Rocket Boom. Tonight, the second season of the Sarah Silverman programme premieres at 10.30pm Eastern. Sarah's back, and it's kind of a big deal. And now... All the way from New York with cassettes, tape and copper wire, live from a pre-recorded file, Mr. Brie Pettis on how to make a Mellotron. A Mellotron! The Mellotron came out in the 60s, and you might recognize it on such songs as the Beatles' Strawberry Fields Forever. The Mellotron is kind of like an organ. It's a keyboard, but internally, each key has a tape-based mechanism with pre-recorded sounds on it. We decided we were going to do it a little bit differently. Instead of using an eight-second little loop, we're going to go ahead and use Walkmans. And that way, we can even make these looped Walkmans, or we can use the radio on them. When we started researching this project, we found a guy named Mike Walters who did a project called The Mellow Man. This project is awesome. Super inspiring. Let's take a look at the simple schematics and then build our own Walkman Mellotron. All right, you've got your Walkman here, and out of the headphone jack, you've got a ground and two lines of sound. We're going to take one of those lines at a switch so that whenever you push this down, the sound goes to the speaker. Oh, and the speaker one side is grounded too. Let's open this up and solder some wires in here. All right, so we've got the Walkman here playing stereo sound, and this is going to go, and I can trigger either side of the stereo with these buttons, and then it sends it out to a little cracker box amp that I made. Here we go. Now it's time to take it to the next level. We found all these Walkmans on Canal Street for two bucks. We're using tapes that have one audio loop in them that just go around and around and around. Let me show you how these fit together. We found these instructions on Wikibooks. The first thing you do is you take it apart and then you go ahead and you make a loop that's just perfectly long enough. You want it to have just the right tension so it works. Then add some tape and then go ahead and put it all back together and you're good to record and have a six second loop. Now it's time to add the keyboard. I've got here a QWERTY keyboard that my friend Tim and I made. It's basically six different switches and we can use that to trigger all the different Walkmans. So here's the QWERTY keyboard and it's triggering these samples to go to that speaker. After realizing that we could use radio static to make drum-like sounds, we decided to make a little program for an Arduino and use the Arduino to gate the sounds. Let's take a look at the program. So what we've got here is a really basic Arduino code. We adapted this code from a simple code that is used to just blink an LED. At the top here we declare our variables which, which uh, determine which pins we're going to be using on the Arduino. Down here in the setup, we declare that the, the pins are going to be used for output mode. And then in the main loop, we just determine when those pins are going to be set to high, how long they're going to be set for, and when they're going to be set for low. And when they're set to high, that means that current's going out, and that lets audio flow through the transistor. Now let's take a look at the schematics you can get set up on your breadboard. To do this, we replace the switch with a transistor, and then we use the microcontroller to trigger the input. So what we've got here is the Arduino is sending pulses to let these two go back and forth in a rhythm. Then I've got all this keyboard so I can add in. Okay, this thing is rocking. Let's take this thing to the Create Digital Music Etsy and make music event. Hello, this is Sarah Silverman from the future. I'm just kidding. We talk normal in the future. But because I am from the future, I've seen all of season two. And I have to say, I'm not just saying this because it's me. It is a spectacular piece of American television. So much so that NASA created time travel, so I can tell you. And now here's the voiceover guy. Look, he's in my hand. A new season of the Sarah Silverman program starts October 3rd after the premiere of South Park. And now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs>